George Zimmerman is back, unfortunately, uh, and he is back in a very bad way. He is now suing the family of Trayvon Martin for more than $100 million. Jesus, man. So already he's back to re-victimize a family that he has already victimized before. Uh, and so now the suit uh, filed Wednesday in Polk County uh, is basically a defamation suit. Uh, and they are claiming uh, that Zimmerman was only tried due to a fake witness. And so now they're alleging, oh, no, Zimmerman didn't actually uh, do anything wrong when he shot and killed an unarmed man uh, in supposed self-defense, right? Uh, and he was defamed. He, George Zimmerman is the real victim because the lawyers in the defense cooked up fake witnesses. Jesus Christ. Uh, so now he's suing on the grounds that the so-called fake witness had been coached to testify that she was Martin's girlfriend uh, and that she had been on the phone just before he was shot. And so, oh, no, it's the fake girlfriend with the fake witness and that's not actually his girlfriend or wasn't his girlfriend. And so therefore fake. Uh, and now uh, George Zimmerman, he's the real victim. Okay. So uh, now also um, named in the lawsuit are Benjamin Crump, civil rights attorney who represented the Martin family for his memoir in the case, open season legalized genocide of color people published in October by Harper, Harper Collins. Now, Zimmerman is also suing them, again, accusing them of defamation. So now, it, again, th th this is a situation. It's what happened, right? So Trayvon Mart was walking through his neighborhood. He had skills and iced tea. George Zimmerman sees him and thinks, oh, that guy's up to no good because he's wearing a hoodie. So now he calls the police. And then he, you know, the police tell him, don't follow him. We've got this. Uh, we don't need you to do that. This was the police dispatcher telling Zimmerman, we do not need you to follow him. Zimmerman didn't listen. He decided, no, I'm going to follow this guy. And then when Trayvon Martin noticed that Zimmerman was following him, they got into a verbal altercation and then got into a physical altercation. Now, Zimmerman was a big guy. Trayvon Martin was only at the time 150 pounds. Right. So not a huge guy. And so this big guy who apparently was like neighborhood watch and, you know, was supposedly uh, training to be a police officer, wanted to be in law enforcement, somehow couldn't get this 150 pound Trayvon Martin off of it and said, oh, no, he was beating me in the head. He was he was slamming my head against the, the sidewalk and he was kicking my ass. Well. In fact, you, you had uh, Zip, uh, Zimmerman having his, I, I don't know, some martial arts uh, teacher come in and say how pathetic and weak Zimmerman was. Oh, oh no, he's so weak. So, of course, he couldn't have fought off this 150-pound <clears throat> kid armed with Skittles and iced tea. you are got to be kidding me. Come on. So, now... Zimmerman has an attorney, Larry Clayman. Uh, you guys have heard of him before. Uh, he's the founder of Judicial Watch. So they come up with all these right-wing conspiracies. Uh, uh, and so big shocker, right, that there's a conspiracy about this. Um, and basically he said uh, that the case against his client hinged on testimony from fake witness Diamond Eugene and is claiming that newly discovered evidence in a recently published book and documentary by somebody named Joe Gilbert. Now, I don't know who that is, uh, but okay. Um, Joe Gilbert, uh, Joel Gilbert, sorry, uh, published something called the Trayvon Hoax, Unmasking the Witness Fraud that Divided America. And so apparently he's got all this kind of evidence um, that uh, Jantel was not Trayvon's girlfriend, uh, and had not been speaking on the phone. And actually, there's somebody else, this uh, other supposed witness, a real girlfriend, um, 
that was swapped out for Jantel uh, after Eugene refused to bear false witness, false witness against Zimmerman in the trial. <laughs> Look, again, this, these are insane. Uh, and so, you know, their entire proof is some guy we've never even heard of doing a documentary in a book. For what? Like money? Uh, and so I'm going to have to look into this guy uh, and his charges. But here's the thing about Zimmerman. Zimmerman's been trying to, and, and Zimmerman's a bad guy, be, not just because of this. He's shown on numerous times that he's a terrible person. But he's somebody who wants to be the hero of the story, desperately wants to be a hero. And so he latches onto this conspiracy theory and says, oh, no. No, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm the real victim here, even though the real victim is the person that's dead. And the real victim is, is the family that has to deal with this, uh, that the death of their son, right? But no, he says, I'm the real victim because I've been defamed. Well, now, you're famous in right-wing circles. And so, I mean, he's been doing a lot of things to try to get money. And I think this is another one of those things, suing the family for $100 million. Again, he's a gross person. Uh, we've talked about how he allegedly abused his girlfriend or how he came up with this crazy story that he saved a family from a car crash. Now, I remember doing this. I remember talking about this story at the time uh, and talking about the facts that didn't quite add up. For example, Zimmerman, oh, just happened to be on the scene, right, with a uh, on the on the scene of the car crash at the right moment with the fire extinguisher to put out a flaming car. So a lot of people are like, wait, how did you know this was going to happen for one? Did you have a police scanner and did you show up at the right time to save this family who, by the way, said uh, originally we're supposed to put on some sort of press conference to thank Zimmerman, but then suddenly canceled at the time. Uh, oh no, it's probably the protesters fault. Right. And so that's why we didn't thank him in person. Look, none of this added up at all. A lot of odd coincidences. Right. And then every few years after that, uh, uh, <clears throat> Zimmerman would pop up. He would get into fights. He would somehow get back to the news uh, and so, look, this I think this is more of Zimmerman trying to, to pop back in and to get some money. Because, again, outside of right-wing organizations, who's going to give this guy a job? Who's going who's gonna to help this guy out? Nobody, because he's a monster. And so that's what's going on here. Now, uh, Crump, uh, Benjamin Crump had responded to this, and I love his response. I'm going to give you the quote. He said, I have every confidence that this unfounded and reckless lawsuit will be revealed for what it is, another failed attempt to defend the indefensible and a shameless attempt to profit off the lives and grief of others. This plaintiff continues to display a callous disregard for everyone but himself, re-victimizing individuals whose lives were shattered by his own misguided actions. He would have us believe that he is the innocent victim of a deep conspiracy despite the lack of any credible evidence to support his outlandish claims. Again, this sounds a lot like what right-wingers tend to do. And he's right. I mean, think of what this does to the family. Revictimizes them again and again and again after being victimized in the first place. It's so incredibly gross and, and, and completely unnecessary. George Zimmerman, it's not like he spent any time in prison for this. He was acquitted by a jury. <laughs> he was acquitted for this. <clears throat> and so even though he still shot and just move on with your life and do something else instead of re-victimizing a family that has suffered already so much at your hands. He's a gross person, man. Gross, gross indeed. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. 
Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron. Patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.